a very quick update. We are coring, we will be annexing vassals, and we're hunting for personal unions. Just look how many. Brandenburg, Bavaria, France, and Ulm. Ulm is small, but they're an elector, so we would inherit an electorate. And I think Franz of Brandenburg and Bavaria are quite self-explanatory. I also am fabricating claims around this area to spread a bit. And that's about it for now. See you in a moment. Another quick update. Uh, personal union hunting is happening. And um, we have made, or rather we have had this happen to us. Our guy is on the throne of Brandenburg, but I forgot to revoke the guarantee earlier, so I had to do it now. We have five years, if in those five years they don't get an heir, which is not that likely, but we'll see. Uh, then I'll claim throne and attack them. And even if that doesn't happen, they will get, uh, uh, they'll keep the same dynasty, so I might do it later. Because ruling over Brandenburg could be quite useful. They're not great in terms of uh, amount of land, but their military is very strong. Right, what's next? We were called in by Hamburg against Brandenburg, Holstein Knights and the Teutonic Order as the defender of the faith. I'm going to decline. Unfortunately, this will reduce our diplo rep, but I don't want to get into war with Brandenburg, which is not mm, our claim on their throne. So we lost the Defender of the Faith title. There's still dispute succession in Great Britain, France, Lithuania and Alsace. Uh, I might actually try for Great Britain. Why the hell not? Nah, it's not gonna work. Unless we made them friendly, because France turned friendly somehow. This is how I was able to make an, uh, uh, you know, an offer. I could even form an alliance with them, but I usually tend to not do alliances if I can maybe do something else. And beating France would be very difficult. I wonder if anyone would help me. Actually, let's have a quick look at that. Okay, gained some core provinces. This is very important because we have had some unrest troubles because I foolishly uh, decreased autonomy. Uh, sorry, increased autonomy. Sorry, decreased, yes. <laughs> uh, autonomy in some places. Also, I've been fabricating claims here so we can invade Bosnia and Milan and Austria. Probably not Venice, because they're allied with the Pope. Yeah, uh, so what do we do next? Well, of course, we start calling the remaining provinces. And I could... Can I move my capital here? Can I cannot move our capital into or out of the Holy Roman Empire, uh, which should be possible if you're the emperor. But I could theoretically just move my capital here and then add this to the empire. This is probably not the best province, but um, it's uh, also the best one we have in the area. And it's a coastal one, so I think that is a good choice. Unless we can conquer something better here. Well, Hum has more development. And it's a very defensible mountainous province, so it might be a better one. How old is our ruler? 39. Yeah, I guess... Um, yeah, I want to disinherit this guy, but we're hunting personal unions, so... Later. <clears throat> Oh, you're told with the Ottomans. I need to attack right now. I really do need to attack right now. Let's keep recording then. Yeah, let's just do conquest. I know my guys don't have full morale. And that was a mistake. Hopefully we can help our forces. Later, you go there, you go there. You go um, there, let's say. Oh, you stopped. That is fine. I want to control it. Oh, yeah, I could get back into a war with the Ottomans. If I vassalize Bosnia. I could call in Russia. Do we want to do that? I'm going to have to think about this. For now, let's just uh, control some territory. We will have the capital, which is the most important bit, of course. Renew influence nation of Tabristan. Uh, no. We're about to end annexing them. Okay, still nothing new with the personal unions. Uh, okay, I'm going to think this through, because they're at war with just the Ottomans, right? Actually not, also Milan and Burgundy, but are you the attacker or the defender? The attacker, so that wouldn't matter. 
So basically, we would be the defender against uh, the Ottomans. How long is our truce with you? Still long. I could call in Russia to this. The truces don't count for defensive, right? I think they don't count for defensive. Although I don't feel like fighting them right now. I have much more pressing matters to attend to. All the personal unions and possible succession wars. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for the sieges to be over because nothing interesting is gonna happen here. They have no army, and then we'll see. And then we'll see. Then I'll make my decision. Back shortly. We finished our sieges, and the prospect of the war with the Ottomans is very tempting, um, especially since it would be the defensive war, so all our allies would join. Um, but it would have been better if I got more allies, like France. Still, I think it's not the right time for it, because we can just, just as easily attack them when the truce is over. And if we attack them now, or rather, make them attack us, it will be a long and tedious war, and we won't be able to make full use of the opportunities at our disposal. For example, we won't be able to declare war in Brandenburg in four years, if we're fighting the Ottomans. And I don't know what's going to happen in France, but it is tempting. So I've decided to not engage the Ottomans in the war right now. So instead I'm going to take all the land that I can from Bosnia and all the money that they have. I might also... I could force the religion for some extra prestige. It doesn't really matter what we do because they're not going to exist in the moment. Uh, so everything that gives us extra prestige is welcome. I guess I could enforce military access for example. Could make you give up claims in Milan. Milan will like us for it. What if I did this? Yeah, and war reparations. Yeah, they'll give us a lot of prestige, some land and some money. And that's good enough for me. Let's sign a peace deal. Now, mm, we do have some unrest. I've been... Uh, yeah, they're gonna get annexed. Not, not my problem. As you can see, this is now adjacent to our core. This is not adjacent to our core, but it is adjacent, uh, sorry, not adjacent to a capital, but it is adjacent to a core, so we can core it. I'm never sure how the whole coring thing works. Well, also, if we engage in a war with the Ottomans, we wouldn't be able to finish coring this province because they have their core on it. Right. Um, Probably won't have to worry about autonomy too much. Let's uh, reduce army maintenance. And retreat our guys a bit. I think I should make Lika my capital. Or Hum, possibly. Hum seems like a good choice uh, for a simple reason of... Um, I mean, this is not a perfect state for us, not very highly developed and so, so on. Uh, but Ham is a very good defensible province. It is a mountainous province, and if it's our capital, and if we put uh, up a huge fort there, it would be very easy to defend. Um, we should also... Wait a minute, my computer is running quite slowly right now for some reason. Um, another thing we might have to consider is the trade node, but unfortunately we don't have anything in the Venice trade node. So that'll have to be, you know handled later possibly. And our next war against the Ottomans, because we are going to do more wars against the Ottomans, uh, will give us nice connections and, you know, we could change that later. Alternatively, I could attack Austria, steal their land and move our capital there, but uh, that's actually not possible. Uh, it's theoretically possible, but not actually possible, uh, because we can't move our capital to the Empire. Is this a better state for us? Lika. Well, I will want to release Croatia one day. Hmm. We can always do it with client states later on. Like release Hungary here, release Croatia here, release Bosnia here. Um, but we wouldn't want to lose our capital, would we? I think making Lika our capital is not a bad choice. Mostly because we can do it now. 
and Hamu have to wait for a call which will happen in three years. And being part of the Empire will ensure our succession. Yeah, we don't get the votes now because we're overextended and that reduces Diplorep. Hmm, yeah, I think I should move my capital here. Dalmatia and Ragusa. Alternatively, hmm, what are the alternatives? This is a very good spot for... Wait a minute, let me have a look. Bax is an option. We can't move our capital to the Empire. Can we? Nope. Even if we're the Emperor, I think that should be changed. Like, you can do that if you're the Emperor, but okay. Mm. Moving it here is the easiest way out. Still think Hum might be better, just because it's so very defensible. So let's uh, leave it be for now and get coring. I might also have to do harsh treatment because I foolishly reduced autonomy. Which did give us... Uh, which did give us quite a bit in terms of uh, absolutism. Oh crap, I forgot to turn off my phone. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Right. Um, it gave me quite a lot in terms of absolutism, but... It doesn't give me a lot in terms of unrest. It is getting problematic. However, doing harsh treatment gives me even more in terms of absolutism, and I definitely don't want to increase my military tech level right now, because we are already in trouble because of that. Also, I have way too many diplomatic relations, but we're working on it. Wait a minute. Oh, crap, yeah, I enforced military access in Bosnia. <laughs> that gave me an extra relation. But they're about to be annexed, so it doesn't matter. Let's just wait until they're annexed, and then I'll put a cut in. Then I will put a cut in, and they no longer exist, and we no longer have an extra diplomatic relation. I should focus on maybe getting a marriage with uh, with Great Britain. Also, let's get a claim in Milan here. Okay, I think I need to restart my computer because the game is running quite slowly. Uh, anyway, I'll be back shortly. Oh, right. Not much happened in the meantime. I cord stuff and hmm, the game is still working rather slowly. Even though I did restart. Come on, come on. No? Hmm. Weird. Oh, well, maybe my hard drive is not as good as it used to be, and maybe the processor needs some work. Anyway, um, Brandenburg, our truce has run out, and we can claim throne. Let's get going. Let's do that. We also still have a chance for a personal union with France if we get lucky. Actually, if they were not at war, it would probably be a succession war or a straight personal union. I'm going to make sure they like us. Okay, let's attack Brandenburg. <coughs> uh, no classes, but... Ah, oh, right, of course, I need to claim throne first. That's gonna cost us some prestige. Duke Joachim Ernest Show. I'm also going to disinherit my shitty heir. Do I still get this? Yes. Because winning a, um, you know, claim on throne thing, I think it's a hundred prestige or something like that. So this is a good opportunity to disinherit. Because that uh, was shit. Now, we will get a personal union under Russia. Hmm. If we die now, but uh, this cannot happen at war. So we're ready to attack. Let's wait for the diplomats to, you know, be sendable. Schultz at Hamburg has ended. Oh, we lost the theologian. That's a pity. We were using him, right? Oh, that's a different theologian. It's fine then. Also, yeah, I did some technological development and we embraced the institution. Took some loans to do it. Well, that's fine. We have three loans. Um, but we're making quite a bit of money, so it won't be a problem once we're done with fighting. Right, uh, and I have not joined the Empire yet, because I wasn't sure if uh, government rank doesn't get, uh, isn't involved in, uh, you know, 
personal unions. Now we don't have an ass so they're not voting for us, but we'll we'll get the votes when the time comes. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's attack. Declare war, claim on throne. Now they're gonna call in uh, Clef, Stutten, Golden Knights, and the Hol and Holstein. I cannot call in Bohemia because they're fighting someone else. I could call Oldenburg, but I don't really care about them. Uh, I could call in Russia, but then we would be uh, using our favors. Probably too early. Let's see if we want to call any of them as co-belligerent. How about Teutonic Order? Allied Brandenburg and Memmingham. Yeah, I think I'll, I will call in the Teutonic Order as co-belligerent, because we might be able to take some land from them. I'm not sure if we will be. I don't know if we can core provinces adjacent to the Empire or only Imperial provinces. Yeah, I think only Imperial provinces, like we saw here. But I could make them a vassal. I could make them a vassal if they're co-belligerent. That could be a bit too much aggressive expansion, but uh, we'll see. Okay, Teutonic Order is called in. Uh, we're gonna call in Pomerania, of course, and Baden, but I think I can deal with them on my own. I have a huge army, after all. Okay, let's go. I mean, by on my own, I mean I don't think I need Russia. I'd rather preserve our favors, because we don't have many of them. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And I'd like to use them to fight the Ottomans, Maine, or possibly France, if we decide to claim their throne. Not Brandenburg. I mean, Brandenburg can be powerful, but we're stronger. So, uh, Pomerania, Baden, Tonic Order. I think we'll be fine. I can always call in uh, Russia during the war. In the first, what, two years. Two and a half years. Alright, we have declared the war. Let's get going. Uh, I've reorganized the armies a bit. I got some more banners. We have such and such guys. So we have siege guys and support guys. And uh, let's just go this way. This Teutonic Order will be part of the war, which means we will be... Wait a minute, this is not right, is it? Where are my allies? Did I call them in after all? Oh, you're just so small I couldn't see you in the big map. That's okay. Not sure why the game's so glitchy. I think I need to do some cleanup. Anyway, let's go. Now the Teutonic Order. How many troops do you have? They have way less troops than me. If we keep our guys together, it will be quite easy. So, come on. What is going on with this game? Right, um, if we attack over here first, we'll be able to piece out the Teutonic Order before anything too important uh, happens in the war. You know what, um, I really need to restart the computer again. I'm sorry, I'm going to put in a cut here and return after a break, because this glitching is a bit too much. Back soon. Okay, we're back and I found the reason it was stuttering like hell. Apparently, one of the um, bits of software decided it wants to take all my processing power for some unknown reason. Okay, let's start by conquering the Teutonic Order territory, and then move on from participant to participant, piecing them out. Maybe forgetting uh, the uh, knights. <coughs> Mm, sorry, I uh, don't really care about them that much. <coughs> Something's wrong with my throat today. Maybe I'm recording too much. And I'm still counting on France. 59 years old. And I think age diminishes chances of an heir. Oops. Hmm. I guess I can recall one of the bigger armies, like you, to fight the rebels. The rest should be fine to, without you. If I combine them in case of an attack, let's give you a good fighting general, like this one. Oh, is the thing called they're attacking me? It is! Send reinforcements! 
Send reinforcements immediately. No, they weren't necessary. Oh, cool. Well, full medic. Mm, I guess I'll just keep you here. All right. Uh, let's get these guys. The rebels are not moving anywhere. Okay, I'll deal with them, or rather, give them specific orders a bit later. Oh no, Brandenburg is attacking. No, they're not. Maybe they still wanted to when the Teutons were here, and probably they would have been successful if they did. Alright, you there, and you there. Now. Oh right, they're piecing out people. Hmm. That's, that's a wise course of action, that's what I am going to do. Um, right. Oh, someone occupied this for me. Thanks. I'm gonna piece them out. And as they're a member of the Empire, I just want money and to force the religion. Could also cancel some treaties. Just to get extra uh, prestige. Sure, let's do that. Yay. Anybody else willing to peace out? I don't think so. Hmm. That's fine. How are you doing? I need to check, keep checking this because um, if they got an heir of our dynasty and they had no heir at that point, it would still show here. And even though I can't claim their throne right now because my prestige is shit temporarily, I do need to be aware of this. Would we get elected? All oh, right, we don't have an heir, so we can't get elected. Or rather, we can't have the system show that we would be. Siege of Marienburg is over. Or as it's called now, Malborg. Okay, we need to be cautious of uh, the Brandenburgians, because even though they have less troops than we do, they are extremely powerful, those troops that they do have. Right, we've killed the rebels. Let's take the land back and then head back to the fighting. Now, if they attack us, I'll, of course, combine my troops to get reinforcements quickly, like I'm doing right now, and that should be sufficient. Yeah, they even changed their mind. Well, now we're attacking here. You'll change your mind again. And in the meantime, the Teutons are trying to retake their territory. Well, let's finish these three and then move on to Malborg. Because by then we'll have these guys with us as well. Alright. Here you go. Now, I'm afraid I can't piece out the Teutonic Order easily because I want them to mm, surrender to us completely. I want them to... Wait a minute... Okay... This works... And you need a siege guy... Good... Now you need a siege guy, and you need a non-siege guy... That's perfect... Right, uh, if I attack here now... Hmm... The terrain is flat... This is too big, an, uh, too big a fight to do it without our extra troops, unfortunately. We'll need these guys here. They might finish the siege in the meantime, but if they get the reinforcements from Brandenburg, we need all our guys together to beat them. Not a great general. France. Let's have a quick look. It's all good. 71%. 85%. Hey, how far are you? Because if I attack here... If it, this was mountains or at least a forest, I would be attacking right now, but... It isn't. Yep. And now, let's move in. We'll siege it back in no time. Renew influence nation. Yes, of course. 
Now they're going to retake some territory back here, but it will be much easier to crush them if they're divided, so we, we don't want to engage them in full force. 21%. Uh, skills of Empress Consort, cool. Which one will that be? I prefer Diplo. It was admin because it's the only. It didn't move. I guess I can take admin tech. The extra production efficiency will give me some. Oh, cool. Actually, this would be quite good for us. Especially if we can make the extra stays before joining the Empire, then they would stay after we've joined. Yeah. Terrain, forest. Yeah, let's be cautious. We don't want to engage all of them at once. Can I call in Bohemia? And they're apparently still at war. Should I attack you? Maybe. Okay, see they're splitting up. Let's wait for them to get away from here a bit. And try to catch one of these units. Like, the Brandenburgians will probably join, but they will get the crossing penalty, is that correct? Yes, they should be the ones that get the crossing penalty after they've joined. And I was wrong with, about that. That's a pity. But we still won with our overwhelming numbers. Okay, uh, let's kill those rebels. And siege uh, the land back. The Teutonic Order will probably not accept a peace deal yet. Because this is the peace deal that we want. France, still an option. Cool. Uh, yeah, they are my dynasty. Can I get anything from you? No, I think I, I did that recently. Right. This won't be too difficult. The Brandenburgians could actually beat our troops. What's this? Siberian separatists. Well, if I reduced war exhaustion... I guess I'll reduce war exhaustion. We're gonna stay in this war for a while. Okay, here we go, and here we go. Oh, the Brandenburgians are coming back again. Well, that's a nice opportunity to beat them up, isn't it? Uh, we lost a theologian. That's very unfortunate. I actually do want to have a theologian working on us. Uh, minister 42. That's too late. Without the theologian, we'll get way too much unrest. Those people will be... Uh, what's the word? You know, um, suing unrest, something like that. I don't remember what it's called. Discontent. Right. Although, maybe that won't be a big deal. So it just boosts stability. No, that's too expensive. Okay, this is the guy. This is one of the special guys that costs half. I'm gonna take him, and if we have some serious rebel trouble, uh, we'll either kill the rebels or... Uh, just uh, oh, Milan has no. Uh, but Milan is. Wait a minute, Milan is only here. That's a pity. For Milan, Austria has grown significantly. What was I saying? Uh, oh right, yes, that I'm going to deal with rebels. That was a very quick siege, wasn't it? That's too many troops in the province. And that is a stupid and reckless attack. Okay. Oh, we wiped you. That was nice. Uh, let's leave a seizure army. To one for one, or... Let's leave you behind. And take the rest of the guys to beat up the Brandenburgian army. That's three times as many of us, so we shouldn't have any problems with them. Okay, Teutonic Order. You don't have an army, you're... and you will accept vassalization. Wonderful. That'll give me negligible aggressive expansion. Let's also get some money. Yay! 
that's another diplo relation, but um, it won't be that problematic. And I can use this land after we've annexed them. Okay. Good. I'm gonna improve relations with them soon. For now, let's move to another part of the wall. Who is another partner? You are Berg. Or Clevs. Not Berg. And Holstein. We want to piece them out to changing their religion, which is pretty important for us. Now, what is your liberty desire? 65% because you don't like me and you think you're strong. Well. Newsflash. You are not that strong. Okay, um, I am going to send these guys to Clavs first and then to Holstein, but I want to take a little break now. So, uh, yeah, see you in a moment. So, I was going to just move our guys into position and siege some stuff here and then return to recording, but apparently we stumbled onto a battle, so you thought I thought you might want to see that. We're attacking in the hills, which is a bit of a problem, but we have more troops, so it's fine. Alright, you know what, we might stumble into other battles. Let's just continue recording. You. There. That'll do it. So I basically am going to siege this fort and uh, this country. All of it. Well, still hoping for France to become my son. Who are you fighting now? Genoa. Damn it. I want them to be at peace because then we might get the succession war over their throne. Which would be amazing. I'd like to also be at peace. Okay. This is the Seizure Army. I guess I could move you over here. No, we couldn't provide quick reinforcements if I did that. I need to keep my guys together. We can't afford to lose battles because that would cost us a lot of money. Now, I'm going to force your religion and force you to pay me all your money and also get some uh, prestige from you by ending your rivalries and alliances. Although if I end all of your alliances, you might be killed. I'll leave you with the one with Flanders. They might protect you. Okay, who else is in this? Holstein and the Knights. I guess it's time we moved against Holstein, but we can't even reach the area. Can I move through here? Okay, let's go and siege Altmark and get our guys in between these. So they will be able to provide reinforcements. Oh, I need to repay a loan. Sure, I'll do that. How many more loans do we have? We have two more loans. Yeah, that's acceptable. Also, we have no corruption. None. Because I dealt with the imbalanced technology, finally. Right. Let's just focus on sieging these and providing reinforcements if any enemy units come running. What happens now? Just a noble. Is that because I don't have enough prestige for this? Still, a noble from my house might be just enough. Okay, a quick... Uh, oh no, there might be a battle. No cat. What terrain is this? This is a uh, forest. Okay, where's that army? Oh, it's up here. Okay, let's do a quick cut until we can siege these provinces. Back in a moment. Right, siege is over, we're moving to another one, but an interesting thing happened. Apparently, Brandenburg has been attacked by Sweden, which can be amazingly good for me, because uh, when I... oops. This can become problematic, because they want my subject's provinces. Um, yeah, anyway... Let's improve relations, that should be sufficient. Uh, anyway, when, if and when, we make Brandenburg our subject, that will automatically make us the leader against a war, uh, in a war against Sweden, defensive war against Sweden, in which we will be able to call in Russia, if I understand correctly. I might, of course, not understand correctly, but I see no reason why I would not be understanding correctly. Alright, so, you're the support guys, you're the siege guys. If they attack, you get reinforcements. The morale is not full, but they don't seem to want to attack. Yeah, the French Queen. 
what happens. Still just the dynasty. Maybe if we're at peace it'll be better. And still the dynasty is a good thing. Alright. That's done. You move on. Move over here. <coughs> Alright, uh, and I'm improving relations with the Teutonic Order. Did Russia change their mind? Uh, not sure. Enemy of enemy, neighboring tolerated heretics. They desire stuff. It's fine. Alright, oh, the royal marriage throne claim thing was a problem. I guess I can always send them a gift or something. Okay. Uh, we, renewed, we have renewed a loan, which is a bit of a problem, but also not a big one. Are you going to attack me now? No, we're moving into Swedish territory. Good. I don't want to damage your forces. They're about to be my forces. Right. After we deal with uh, this siege over here, we can move on to Holstein. And after we deal with this siege, we can move on to Berlin. Actually, can I move here? Not yet. Soon, though. Very, very soon. Rebels, Croatian separatists. Um, that's actually not a problem. If they rise up, I'll just kill them after this is done. Renew influence nation of Ulm. Yes, they're an elector, so I will. Even though, even though we don't have an heir at the moment. Okay, 35%. This should be over by now. Hmm, should I put in a cut? Yeah, let's put in a cut. Just sieging. Be back shortly. Quick update. Siege of Altmark is over, so we're moving to Berlin. Ah, oh, crap. Sweden's taking Berlin. This can be problematic for me. This can be very problematic for me. Well, we'll see soon. Mm, do you have any other forts? Mm, no. Can I move to Holstein yet? No. Well, I guess I'll just take the lands that we can take. And hope but that uh, Berlin is retaken by Brandenburgian army soon. And I will not stop them from doing that. Um, right. Back shortly. New update. We've taken Hamburg. Mm, we've taken these. We're sieging Holstein now. And I'm leaving this area alone deliberately because I hope Brandenburg will retake Berlin and then we'll swoop in and take it back. Also, still hoping for France. Although 62. Well, it's not old by today's standards, but yeah, you know. Um, also, I might want to retake my territory after what we're done here, but that might not be necessary if they can retake Berlin and then I can take it back from them. Okay, um, let's wait for the Siege of Holstein and maybe for them to take Berlin. Update, we haven't finished the Siege of Holstein still, but we got an interesting offer. Uh, Russia wants to lend us 18 cannons for a lot of money, but I think I'm gonna take it. I'm not sure they can attack me, or, you know, I think it might strengthen my alliance with them if I take it. Also, I could use some extra cannons to siege stuff in the coming war against Sweden, which will probably happen. Mm, I mean, I could also have Russia use them, but I might be declaring war on France soon as well. Uh, I'm actually, yeah, France got into another pointless war, uh, which means we won't get a personal union, even if we're not in the war. Also, I can take more tech. Um, yeah, I'll take the admin tech, just for the extra stuff. Um, I don't think I need to take the diplotech right now. I might prefer to take an idea. You know, influence ideas are pretty good. And we will need them soon. On the other hand... I think this is as cheap as it's gonna get. Right now. Let's do it. Extra trade efficiency is gonna help. Okay, uh, I'm gonna accept the Condottieri. We're gonna make new states after the war. And let us continue. I'm hoping that Brandenburg will retake Berlin. So we need to keep monitoring France. Okay, where is the... 
Oh, right. They fight in my wars, but they control them. Just don't fight the Brattenbergians. Leave them alone. Ming has rivaled me. Well, good to know. It's about time they rivaled me back. So, Ben Brandenburg, how about that? Not yet. Maybe when I take Holstein, I might need to use... Oh, right. Let's uh, peace out the knights. Shall we? Does not need to keep fighting them? Oh, you don't want to peace out. Whatever, then. With Holstein, I could use holding their capital, which will happen soon, as war score, or I could just piece them out. Both options are valid. Bavaria has unlawful territory. Interesting. Uh, gimme. Salzburg. Release Salzburg. Now. Great. Good. Now Salzburg's gonna like us. Oh, what was the third one? Ah, right, Salzburg was added. Because we just released it. The Emperor is now righteous. Good. I could use a good air, to be honest. Come on, come on, guys. Do you want to surrender to me yet? The problem here is that I do not control the war goal. And they're about to retake some of their territory. Maybe when I take Holstein's capital. How about now? No, but close. Close to it. Now, I could beat up their army, but I'd rather not. I could peace out Holstein. No, let's peace out Holstein. I'm gonna force religion, get money, and get some extra prestige from you. Like, uh, what could I get? Give up claims? Give up claims works? Hmm. Not sure I want them to give up claims. Yeah, sure, let's give up claims here. And our war score went down, but they will be less willing to keep fighting because there is no ally in the war. Uh, now I might be able to peace out the knights as well. And nope. Yeah, it was probably a mistake, but forcing religion was quite useful to us because that's going to help with authority. Slightly help with authority. Uh, now, you guys are gonna go down here. Prevent them from retaking that area. Oh, we got an heir. He's not great, but he's also not shit, so we're gonna keep him. Also, France is still an option. Need to keep monitoring that. I don't really want to beat your guys, but. Yeah, probably should have hold on should have held on to Holstein. About the peace now? No. Yeah, I should have held on. Should have held on to Holstein. Let's distribute our guys around here. Maybe I can have them retake Berlin. Which would be tremendously helpful. Yeah, we're getting quite a lot of war exhaustion now. What is that Russian army that we bought? Oh, it's retaking our territory. Perfect. Do that. I should probably retake some of my territory as well. Oh, cool. Um, I could take absolutism, but we actually have quite a lot of absolutism right now. Uh, what else could I take? Change rival cost. Eh. Um, edicts, no. This is good. This is also good. Heart treatment cost reduction. Can be quite helpful. Can be quite helpful. Although extra absolutism is always nice. This age is gonna last until what? A long, long time. Let's take the absolutism. Alright. Come on, Brandenburg. If only I had your capital. Yeah, I shouldn't have pieced out Holstein. Too late now, though. This is good, at least. Okay, I think I'm going to send my guys to retake our territory from the rebels. Don't bother the Brandenburgian armies, hopefully they will go and retake their capital. Yeah, move. I'll deal with the rebels shortly. 
Also, my favorite subject to be. Subject to be. You really want to piece out the knights. Maybe I should give them some money. Because they don't seem... They don't seem eager to peace out. What if I just give you cash? No. Oh well. Probably, sh yeah, should, should have left Holstein in the war. Hm. Whatever. Come on, Brandenburg. Go towards your capital. Good. Go towards your capital. And you go kill the rebels down here. Disaster? What disaster? Court and country. Absolutism more than 50. Stability 3. Unrest lower than 1. Currently in a disaster. Unrest. Actually, this is quite easy. Bam! And unrest is gone. Actually, I'll do it twice. Yeah. Can you retake your capital? Please do that. No, not my... Damn it. They're so thick sometimes. Alright, you. There. Actually, I could go through Russia and just retake the territory they've taken here. Or I could just... You know what? I'll just get some infantry to do it for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight infantry. We'll merge it into our main armies soon afterwards. Okay, cool. So, uh, Brandenburg. Why not going for Berlin? Oh, now Sweden's gonna take that. Well, of course they are. Bloody bastards. Okay, 59% war score. Still too little. Go and retake that. There should be a stable government. Um, don't really care about prestige, I'm about to get a lot of it. Uh, check on France, maybe they already have an heir of our dynasty? No. Okay. Sweden, why are you here? Okay, we got a province. How about now? Close. I think I should just attack them and do a huge battle. Kill them that way. They won't help us in the coming war with Sweden. But at least we might be able to finish this one. Oh, a revolt. Ah, crap. Should have done harsh treatment. Should have paid attention, actually. Okay, let's do this, and let's do... let's do some harsh treatment. It's gonna give us extra absolutism. Yeah, it's a pity we have to waste military power like this, but I really can't be bothering... Oh, not Bosnian, though. We're fine with the Bosnian ones. They're close. Yeah, hopefully the condottieri we get from Russia will kill these guys, and now you... can handle the provinces that we've lost. If you do it quickly enough... This whole war can still be a great success of ours. Okay, let's kill their army. That'll give us extra war score. Oh, now Sweden's joining. Bitches. Sixty-four percent war score. Finally, they'll agree. Okay, we'll form a union. Uh, and can I get your money as well? Two money. And that will drag us into a war with Sweden, Ulm, and Nuremberg. Perfect. I want that. And now... It is a defensive war. Goodbye, Sweden. Now, how's France doing? France is doing great. Okay, let's uh, finish this battle up. And let's call our guys in. Call to arms, sent to all our allies, especially Russia. And Bohemia. Hello, Russia, my good, good friend. 
I wonder how much aggressive expansion I got for that. I wasn't even checking. Oh, quite a bit, but nothing too serious. Okay. Condottieri has been can have been cancelled. Good. Our first battle is won. And now, let's retake some of our subject's territory. Shall we? Our good little Brandenburgian subject. Uh, right, you know what? Um, as usual, after a big war, I needed to rest up a bit. So I'm going to take a break from recording now. Be back shortly. Okay, time to steal some land from Sweden and also hope to take over France. Ah, oh, Switzerland has no heir again. Should I do a royal marriage? Well, we don't lose anything. If it doesn't work out, let's get one. Oh, France. <laughs> so beautiful. Now, let's go kill these Swedish chaps. Actually, I think I will uh, change... Oh, my guy's gone because I don't need to go this way. So, you don't need to go there. You can go here instead. Actually, no, go, go like this. Then you won't suffer as much attrition. Got the royal marriage and the battle was not problematic at all. And Brandenburg is rebuilding their troops. Also, I will improve relations with them as soon as we can, which is now. Okay, anything else? Not really. What happens if Franz loses their guy? Just get the dynasty. Oh, wait a minute. Are we at war with... We're at war with F Nuremberg and Ulm. But they are the proper religion, so I don't really need anything from them other than maybe money. <coughs> Unfortunately, we don't have the vote right now. That might be due to aggressive expansion. But soon... Um, and our guy is not that old. He's just 50, so he should last at least 10 more years, um, unless I'm, I get super unlucky. And if we lose the Empire, well, that would be horrible if we lost the Empire. Okay, in the case of a tie, the current Emperor wins. So what we need to do is improve relations with Pomerania and Oldenburg. I can't improve relations with Oldenburg more, but I can enter a royal marriage, which will be sufficient. And as for Pomerania, I will improve relations with them. And that will do it. No? Okay, seems like we can't win. Well, we will be able to once we've joined the Empire or recovered our Diplorab, because we lost some Diplorab due to annexing vassals. Um, oh, next year this will expire. Then we will win. Teutonic Order, recall. Apparently we've improved relations as much as we could. And I can even feed them some Swedish land if I want to. I could make Sweden release someone here. No, that's not a good idea. But I could take, for example, Danzig, and, or Gdańsk, because it's known now. This is a very good province. And I could move my capital here instead of here, which might be more convenient. Okay, let's move on. Actually, they don't have any forts in the area, do they? No, the closest fort... closest fort is over here. Let's do that. Yeah, the enemy doesn't stand a chance against us. Oh, so Pomerania. We can now call Pomerania into a war. I will call them into a war just because we can, because that will temporarily increase our relations. Maybe giving us a vote. Although, if we die now, Bohemia will be the emperor. Which is slightly problematic. Oh. Oh, crap. Did I make you transfer this to me? Bloody hell. I wanted that province. Leave that alone, Bohemia. It's mine. Well, at least this one went to me. Uh, Teutonic Order has cores here, so I could just return cores, theoretically. That would be convenient. This is not an Imperial one. We could still use a return core. Right, let's continue. Pomerania wants this one. I don't really want them to have it. 
But also, I don't mind if they do. You. There. Go to Memel. And you guys need to merge together. Truce with the Ottomans is over. We could get into war now. I'd rather not, of course. Can I get over here? Oh, indeed, yes, I can. Let's do that. And who's that? You're fighting other people as well. Holstein, East Frise, and Holland. Well, if Holstein takes land there, I will not complain. Although I don't want to put... I shouldn't have called in Pomerania. Yeah, too late. Yeah, give me that land here. Maybe I can get across. Can I get across? No. But maybe when they take it, I can. Alright, we got this. Can I actually take land from you? Uh, I can give it to Russia, or I can take land over here. I can take the imperial land, or the land that's adjacent to my vassal. But nothing, uh, mm, nothing more than that. Let's have a look at France, as we usually do. Okay. That's a siege. Mm, I guess I'll send you over here. How are you doing? 49%, 64%. I really need to get over here, although that is not likely. Russia is not one to field a strong fleet. And our other allies are also quite small. So we'll have to actually go through Russia. Yeah, I keep checking this, because if they get the heir of our dynasty, rather the ruler of our dynasty, we need to act fast. I would very much like to take this province. It's almost being controlled by... Uh, oh, can we move in? Come on, come on, come on. Oh crap, it's rebels there. Lots of rebels. Let's just stay here for now. I'll need both my guys. Uh, I really want this province, but I don't think I can beat these rebels. I'll need both the armies. Maybe you as well. Let's do it. Rebels have crossed the border. What rebels? Kazakh rebels. I also have troops here I'm not using. Let's just merge them. Um, I'm guessing Russia will take care of that. Not really that interested in what's going on there. Come on, finish this. I need to go and take this province because it is crucial that I have it. Because it is amazingly rich. And that is the only reason I need it. Oh, this is... Well, why can't I go there? Uh, right, it's apparently because of... Um, right. So I can't go here because of the fleet. The fleet has left. Great. The fleet is no longer... Right, let, let's slow this down a bit, shall we? We should go down to speed 3. This fleet is kind of patrolling the area. But we're also making gains on the other side. And we have 75% war score. Uh, all I need to take this land is... Oh, actually I can't take this land. Unless I may be transferred to a subject. Hmm. I might transfer it to a subject, but first I need to occupy a fort in the region. And for that we need this fleet to be out of here. Come on, Russia tempt them. France, still an option. Wonderful. Brandenburg, learning to love us. Russia, let's make sure you like us as well. Because you might actually want something from this war, and I'm not going to give it to you. Yeah, they're defending themselves quite well. Let's recall the guy from Pomerania, we don't need that. 
and I realize I have too many diplomatic relations, but I always do. Uh, right, I guess I could get rid of some of them. Nah, not yet. I could feed the Teutonic Order. How loyal are you? 19%. That's not very loyal. I could feed them some land. Return cores and stuff like that. Uh, so that when we next them later, we'll get those. Come on, come on. I mean, they're pretty war exhausted. And I probably, when Russia finishes taking their capital, I can probably take whatever I want from them. Oh, that's not Russia, that's Brandenburg. Still. So. Siege of Viborg. 91% war score, can you imagine that? Alright, that was rather quick. Let's see how much we could actually take. These would go to me. Russia would be disappointed, reducing their trust by 10. Seriously, what if I give you one bit? You would be happy, increasing your trust. And it didn't cost me much. Alright, Neumark. Um, how about I return core of Neumark to the Teutonic Order? Same with Kohlberg. That's better. Mm, they will be happy about this. Good. Now, that's not enough. I need more stuff. I could transfer this to someone else. Like the Teutonic Order or Brandenburg. I could actually give land to Brandenburg. Should I give this to them? I mean, them being small is actually good for me, because then we can, uh, you know, inherit them. I guess I don't really need this province. I could give it to them. Oh, they occupied Neumark as well. I guess I could give you these two. Yeah, I thought Bohemia had that. Yeah, let's forget the return core on that one. Although, aggressive expansion 18 if I do it like this. And 19 if I do it like this. So it's a bit cheaper. Okay, I think I need, I need some more conquest. Well, I can always transfer uh, the things up here to Teutonic Order, for example. But I would much rather actually have a connection. So, let's go here and try to take land down uh, this way. Monitoring France all the time. Yep. Uh, right, where's, the, where's this unit? Here you go. Go take the fort. Russia, improved relations, recall, and we can take what technology? Military. Sure, no reason not to, because we're not imbalanced right now. Leather cannons, of course. Right, so we're not gonna give this to Pomerania, no reason to do that. Where's my unit? Ah, here you are. Russia might actually peace out in a separate peace deal. That would be good, because I wouldn't need to give them anything. Naples. Naples is small. Not worth the effort, I think. Okay, we're almost here. This fleet is distressing me. Let's split you guys up so we don't get any extra attrition. Oh, call for peace. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll have to deal with this soon. Can I actually go here? No. We need to take this uh, fort. Quickly. And then we can move on. We'll quickly take over this area. And then I can actually feed these provinces to either the Teutonic Order or Brandenburg. Traveling Minister. Oh yeah, that's free stability. Sure. And we can do what? In establish Sunday schools. Free missionary strength. No reason not to do that. Let's get rid of this, shall we? That's a draining our diplo power. Like the extra relations that we have. Ok, 
Okay. Not very lucky in that one. Check on France. Mandatory check on France. Let's continue. Let's improve relations with France a bit, shall we? Not too much, just a bit. Right, I can't get here. Hmm, this is problematic. Oldenburg. Peaced out. Oh, they surrendered to Sweden. Don't care. Don't care about that. Uh, Nuremberg. Nuremberg, show me. What do I want from you? Uh, give me money, give me all money, and all the money. And your rivalries, to give some extra prestige to me. And no treaties with Sweden. That'll do. Who else is in this Ulm? Do we care? Not really, but I will make you... Oh, I haven't finished the siege yet. Never mind. Never mind. 49%. Come on, come on. Alright. Oh, Karma. That's why the Karma Union is called that. I never realized... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe. Now let's just do 8, I guess. Take these, transfer them to our subject, so we can control uh, the area. Right, do this quickly, and then we can end the war, because we already do have all the war score that we need. Then maybe Holstein will conquer some bits here as well. Oh, stop this! That was close. Renberg, recall, revolt in Travunia. I expected that, and I'll deal with that. Siberian and Crimean. Crimean is relatively close, we can get there, we can get to Crimea. Uh, Siberian, I really don't want to deal with this. I don't have uh, military power, though. Let's reduce war exhaustion by a bit. Uh, did someone deal with my rebels? Yes, thank you, Russia. You're such a good ally. I thought they would be my biggest enemy, and they are my best ally. Okay. When these are done, I will be able to transfer them and sign a nice juicy peace deal. Just a moment longer. And that is it, I think. Alright, um, I'll put a little cut in because I want to compose the perfect peace deal. Back soon.